Okay, YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna do another ham radio video, sorta. This is my Magnum Delta Force. It's an export radio. Uh, I forgot where I got this thing at. Um, has CB and 10 meters in it. I don't ever use a CB part no more. Great radio. It's it's an it's a hopped up version of this little monkey wards, Montgomery Ward. Basically, a Montgomery Wards is uh, a Cobra. Inside parts are, but this right here. And this will go up into 10 meters. Now, a lot of guys get these. They get their butts in trouble. They don't got a license for these. Okay, 27185. Let me show you something here. which is channel 19. Okay, let me go back to 27185, okay? What some guys do is switch bands, go one or two bands up. Well, let me show you what's going to happen with that, okay? And... do that again. Okay. Now, one, F, one band, and eh, you're right at the edge. I wouldn't go over 27500 if I were you, but you go up two bands, look where you're at. That's the CW portion of the 10 meter band, which if you get caught, you can get into a lot of of trouble. Um, some FedEx drivers a few years ago didn't have licenses and uh, got into a little bit of trouble with that. But so with some of these export radios, you really gotta watch it, and especially around the Washington D.C. area, two seven four seven five. Um, some guys were on. And they asked them to stop transmitting. They told them they this was a government frequency. And the one guy told him to go F himself. Driving right by, the guy had a whole bunch of black cars around him. So they probably made him have a real hard day there. He's got to watch where you... This thing here needs a little bit of work to it. Uh, I haven't really even had this thing working in a while. I've got to get it working. I mean, um, let me see, mode, AM. The receive on AM is really terrible. It's really low. Um, it needs new lighting in here. So I might look to see somebody who knows how to work on these. These are a pretty good radio. I had one in my truck. These are a pretty good radio. Uh, but I don't need the CB part. I haven't talked on CB in a long time. Bef oh, heck. Around when I got my ham license. Uh, I haven't talked on it ever. I haven't talked on it since. With this radio, I keep it into the ham band function. With all these little buttons here, you can do all kinds of tricks if the radio is modded. This one is. You can do all kinds of little tricks with all these little buttons if you do it right here and there. It's got the echo on it. Uh, this and that. Um, and this and that. Now, some of the newer radios are coming out with even have more. And can get into even more of the ham um, bands. Uh, you know, you ain't got a license there unless it's an emergency. I would, I wouldn't transmit there. You, you can listen to a to a ham broadcast in the ham bands all you want. The minute you transmit, and if it's not an emergency, uh, you could get yourself into a little bit of trouble. And depending on how they feel, it could be. $10,000 per incident. 
and the FCC there, you know, uh, hmm, something else. Uh, they can garnish your wages and everything else until they're until the fines paid. They're worse than the IRS when it comes to if you owe them money. You owe the FCC money. They are worse than the IRS, I've been told. Uh, you don't want to screw with the FCC if you don't have to. I'll probably get some thumbs down saying that, but it's the truth. I've had my uh, ham ticket since May 13th of um, 2006. Ten years. Well, not quite yet ten years. It'll be ten years on May 13th when I got my technician license. You know, back when I used to drive truck, I used to have to use a CB, you know, sometimes, and then sometimes I would just cut it off. That's why I got into ham radio. It was just so much baloney on it, it wasn't funny. Uh, that's why I got off of uh, CB radio and got into amateur, amateur radio. But basically... That's it with these. So if you get one of these export radios, you need to know where you're at. If not, you could get yourself into a lot of, lot of trouble. You know, here in the States. I'm not sure about other countries if they have similar. I know uh, what other countries call CB is right around the 2 meter area. They're on uh, UHF, VHF. Um areas, what they call CB, they're, they're not in 11 meters, um, you know, so what they call CB and what the U.S. calls CD, CB is two different things, so they're around the uh, two meter area for, for it here, but that's all I wanted to put a little video out on ham radio since I haven't done it in a while. I uh, couldn't come up with anything real good except this. If you get one of these export radios, uh, you know, just be careful with one. Because you can get yourself into a big problem if you get up into the 10 meter band. I just showed you right where you were in 10 meter band. And usually they're doing, when the band is in, right where I, sh right, right here, 280. 085. That's the CW portion. That's the uh, Morse code portion of 10 meters. And when 10 meters is in and uh, working real well, they're, they're doing CW up there. They get pretty damn steamed. You know, and if they lock in on you and triangulate you, they can find out where you're at. And uh, you, you, you don't want that kind of trouble. Okay. That's pretty much going to be the end of my video here. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like or give her a likes up. I would surely appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment. Want to see more videos like this or others that are on the channel? Hell, don't be shy and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video or broadcast. Yeah.